This episode of Rep in the State Line podcast with John, George, and Josh is sponsored by The Mortgage Dad. Working with George's team gives you an access to an unmatched menu of mortgage programs and over 100 years of combined mortgage experience. Skip the stress, love your mortgage experience, and get home with George. Visit www.homewithgeorge.com, NMLS ID 443967. I love when they... Don't set their phones on Do Not Disturb while the intro's running. Why? You know why they chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side. That's, did, that was not Why funny. did the punk rock chicken cross the road? Why? You're staple to the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you staple to the chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, uh, Lame uh, jokes for Saturday morning. Oh. Uh, uh, what Saturday, is it Saturday? Saturday, welcome, Saturday morning. Welcome to this episode of NPR. NPR. What? Are you all right? No, I'm Bro. not. It's been a rough. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough weekend. It's just been crazy. I can see that. It's been stressful. I don't know about you guys, but I had a weird Friday night. I was like sitting in my living room, and all of a sudden, my doorbell started ringing a shitload. Like, <laughs> I have no clue that kids still ding dong ditched around here. Yeah. Can you yeah. believe that? I, I know a couple of thirty year old kids that ding dong ditched <laughs> on Friday night. Oh. That was yep. classic. He, and not only did he ding dong ditch you, but he FaceTimed me and I was on the phone while he did it. I know. And what's funny is <laughs> I'm up. Um, I run to the door and I see a white traverse just <laughs> peeling out out of my neighborhood. I was just like, okay. I, I called Josh right away. I go, so you ring the bell. You don't come in. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to offer you a drink. You I didn't need another drink. I, at I that did point. not. Need I had I had the drink. bottle of Johnny Drum open. I mean, it was a good night. Uh, was it just you at the house? It was just me and me and Andrew, and the two dogs. So you basically caused the dogs to go nuts. That's because oh, they, they went they, they went, they went crazy. But that was it. Because Venice the and dogs Emily, went nuts before I even rang the doorbell. Oh, they heard you coming. Like yeah, <laughs> nobody could get to my door. Did like, you? I mean, the, that's the, why I have that big sign next to the door. That's like, please don't don't ring, don't knock, don't do nothing. The dogs already told me you're here. Oh yeah. Did you catch what he said, though, at the door? I did not because I don't have a <laughs> ring doorbell. Uh, oh, that would have be been better. Part. That would have been a sweet clip to yeah. enter right here if he would have had it. But yes. we don't have it. Sorry. We don't have Sorry. It. Oh. George hasn't made my house smart yet. It's still a dumb house. It's still a dumb house. Hey, do you guys remember the movie Smart House back yes. in the day where it like converted and turned on the family and there was like a tornado on the inside? Yes. No. Classic. It was a classic. It was a classic B flick horror film from like the eighties, because everybody thought technology was going to take over. Who knew that it is? Slowly it's, but surely, it's, getting, it's scary. I mean, you sent me that clip I saw over on TikTok of the um, the guy playing golf, wearing the Vision Pro, and it was like, I'm sitting there going, and he's like, but am I at the golf course or am I in a simulator this whole time? And it was like, I don't know. I yeah. can't tell what he's doing. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Ridiculous. Did you see? Did no, you see ridiculous. the ridiculous? Did you I can't see wait to have one at Swan Hill. No, absolutely golfing? ridiculous. Did you see the? Um, there was a TikTok I watched where the there's an actual place um, that is doing Lazy River with you have to uh, immerse fully immersive Lazy River. Put the goggles on and you go on the Lazy River, and they've got like. Now is craziness. Is the Vision Pro fully waterproof? No, but uh, whatever they that would had be scary. Was. That would be scary. My question is, would the Vision Pro be able to tell you like Tiger Vision? Remember, no, so in in the golf video game, they have Tiger Vision. It tells you your line. Well, that's what the video was. You know what? George is going to put that video from TikTok because it's TikTok. We just give credit to the guy that did the video right here. Which one? Should I do it? Yeah, throw the video All up. Right, let's Get see. it up here. Let's put it on let's there. See if I can find it. As long as we just give the guy who did the video credit, it's not is a copyright that, Is that like Tiger Vision? You can it literally tell you your line. When you're sitting there, it'll so, it tell tells you, you the it, slope. It guides you to your golf ball. Let's see if I can find it. So did that's why I'm saying, like, if you could do it, it like does a tracer when you hit the ball, and then you look down to where where you hit the ball from, and it'll show you what your club face was doing when you hit, and I why did, you're 20 yards to the right. Did does I text it, it to you, or did I send it? Does it find it? your ball for it's, you? you? You didn't text it to me, but it was in what you sent me on on um, TikTok. Mm, that means I have to log in. 
Yeah, I'll get sure. it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll just text it to you. Text right it now. to me. The tick link. Tick tock. Tickety tock. Tock. Tickety tock. Just make sure, tock, my, tock. make sure my volume well, is the, down. Uh, there's also a place that has a water slide that you put on the vision, and then it may it makes you feel immersed, like you're on, um, like a roller coaster or something, hanging off the edge, and you're flying okay. through. The sounds track. terrible. It this sounds was, crazy. Sounds terrible. This was from Golf Busters. That's who posted. I'm just letting you know. Nothing so. about that sounds enjoyable. And no. George Pushkavich, I'm texting you the clip right now. All right, we're but gonna put this golf in. busters on TikTok two days ago. Posted this, and George sent it to me. So we'll put it up here on this. But while George is getting that ready, how was your weekend, Josh? My weekend was besides actually, the ding, 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 well, dong, right. ditching about ding, 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 ding. All right, so no, we uh, we went to over to some friends' house that live. Uh, in the good old town of Roscoe, mm-hmm. um, some St. Bridget family friends, and we we're there. And I, uh, obviously, with this diet, I haven't been drinking. Um, I've only drank a handful of times. Well, I think I drank an entire bottle of uh, the sugar-free, no sugar added Smirnoff. Oh, with the lemon infused garden. I know. I always get whatever it is, Smirnoff. but like, tasted great. So I had that with some water and little uh, crystal light squirts uh, for flavor in there and that. And so then I obviously did not drive. Obviously. And my beautiful bride drove. Obviously, because she drives like a mad woman. And I talked her into stopping and I had my three kids in the back and they thought it was the funniest thing ever. Oh, your kids? They had an absolute blast, like watching me run up to the door ring the doorbell, sprint back and yell, go, 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 go. And Kelsey just, Doom! I know, peel, out. peel it out. That was the funniest thing. And That's uh, funny. George was on uh, FaceTime with me. He thought that was hysterical. Can anyone guess where George was when I FaceTimed him? On the couch. On the couch. <laughs> <laughs> he was laying on the of couch. Of course. Because um, I FaceTimed him right afterwards and he was on the couch. <laughs> I was like Cooper Shocker. just Cooper just ding right. dong did and you? Then, yeah, I was on the phone with him. And then Saturday, uh, what did we do Saturday? Saturday, we had oh we had baseball practice in the afternoon, uh, which is good. We have a baseball tournament here in like two weeks, so we've been vigorously practicing and getting nice. ready for that. And uh, had dinner with the family Saturday night. Sunday we had basketball starting at three o'clock and. Last game was at 7.05 and went to Salamonies in Cherry Valley afterwards. I very, love that place. Very good. Salamonies uh, is good. Salamonies kind of in Cherry pr- Valley. Kind of pricey. No, uh, you know what, though? It's not. When you consider what you get, yeah. like maybe the, maybe just if you're ordering just pizzas, you know what I mean? It's a more of a takeout pizza. There's a, like a little upcharge for eating it there. But like, I do their seafood pasta. Yeah. And... I think it's well priced. I mean, I get big chunks of lobster in there, shrimp, scallops, this great fettuccine. Yeah, it's I'm just, not mad about it. I mean, they're obviously a higher end and, uh, yes, restaurant. They are. And, and I, maybe I don't notice also because we usually drink a few cocktails, which are pretty yeah, pricey. I mean, to begin with. we got uh, two appetizers and three kids' meals because I had already eaten um, my meal for the day. And so it was like 60 bucks. What'd you do for Valentine's Day? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. No, we got the kids some stuff, um, but we have some extremely large bills to pay to pay in the near future. Okay, uh, and so we just decided, you know what, we're gonna get the kids a little something and just. Well, I'm gonna give you a little inside scoop. Don't go out on Valentine's Day. This comes from someone whose wife's family's owned restaurants forever. All right, one. It's a fixed menu usually because they're trying yes. to streamline mm-hmm. it, whatever they can. Oh, yeah. Two, it's triple capacity of what they normally have. So everybody, the servers, the chefs, everybody's stressed out. Mm-hmm. So your experience is not going to be the same as if you skipped Valentine's Day and went the Sunday before or the Friday after. I, oh, yeah. I thought that our Valentine's experience was insanely amazing. But we were at Francesco's and... Benny took good care of us. Oh, Benny's a great guy. And I'm not saying that that's going to be everywhere. But, you know, I mean, you had a great experience. But was that because Benny knows us, knows you? Then you got a little extra I think they attention? Were on it. I think or they were, were on they it. just on it that much because that's how experienced they are? We, because you we go walk- to some of the other restaurants in town, it's not that same experience. We had reservations. We not on a holiday. In. 
We w- we had reservations. We walked in. They seated us on time. Every female got a rose when they walked in. They seated us. The service was amazing. The food was even better. It was a fixed menu, like you said. Um, the special menus for Valentine's Day it was great. Um, they're they're uh, old fashioned, on point, tremendous. I had two. I had one with. Um, what did I do? I tried two different bourbons. Both were phenomenal. They did an excellent job. Um, we did the dessert. The whole nine yards. And it was one of the first Valentine's Days that I remember where I got to um, take the three girls in my life, my wife and my two kids, and they were all pretty much young adults sitting and having a nice formal dinner. Everybody got dressed up. Everybody was on their best behavior. It was was quite the experience. It was the first time. You wore your best Mickey Mouse shirt. No, I wore a nice sweater. You, did, you didn't wear a Disney shirt. No, I you wore... own clothes that aren't Disney. Correct. We've correct. Yet, we've correct. yet to see. I thought I thought Disney was sponsoring the show with as much Disney as he was. <laughs> well, I'm wearing Disney today. <laughs> you wear Disney every show. I don't Not think every. there's been a it's show. Disney or Bears? Bears. It's Disney Bears? or Bears? Except for when he wears the Bears with the Disney ears. I don't have biz- Disney or Bears. What are you talking about? Okay, we're gonna go back and we're gonna watch this video. I got it queued up. Ready? Okay, let's see what we got here. Distance to pin is 131 yards. The flag is five like, yards uphill with a five like mile. This is insane wind. if this is the truly is an app that like works there. Yards, and we recommend using your pitching wedge. All right. For, oh. for me, Josh, that's a seven iron. Hole number one. Nice. We know. Five bucks says you missed the green. All right, you're on. <laughs> Look, Tracy. So I thought, well, I get back he FaceTimed somebody during his... Monitor. Your path was very good, but your club face was closed, which caused you to miss to the right. You should find your ball 20 yards right of the green at about pin high. In the near future, the Apple Vision Pro could totally revolutionize the game of golf. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at what we think the Apple Vision Pro will look like on the golf course. Or maybe we weren't even on the golf course. Maybe. I was never at the golf course. Maybe I was inside a golf simulator the entire time. And the AR VR technology, instead of allowing me to go to the moon, maybe it allows me to go to any course in the world and I could be playing Augusta National from the comfort of my own home. Now, one of the first things you'll see is a layout of the hole and a graphic telling you where- Josh is like just Your average miss is 20 to 40 yards to the right. So we recommend aiming. It's pretty down. Camera, camera Josh's face right now. This is hilarious. All right. All right. Like, look at him. I find this wildly stupid. Why? Wildly stupid. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, it's a big clunky he looked, set. But he I mean, looked ridiculous with that thing on his face. It's no different than you pulling up your thing every five seconds. Check in. He wasn't even at the golf course. Or was he? Or was he? Dude, that's the that's point. Like, that's like saying, okay, that's like saying that we're all puppets. We're not actually living life. Maybe we're Somebody not. Somebody wrote a book about the three of us having a podcast and record seasons, but we're not real. It's someone's imagination imagining us. Recording this podcast. Okay, I didn't know this was the Elon Musk episode. Are we smoking? <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get <laughs> George. Get me some gummies. Please. It's the same thing. It's the same <clears throat> thing. No, no. But, I play golf to enjoy the game of golf. But how do you itself. know you're not in a simulator golfing in someone else's imagination when you're playing golf? You don't know. How do you, you know? know that we're not fake this sitting at this ma- table? We could be, well, we could all be sitting in a tube somewhere and be in the Matrix. I mean, seriously, you don't know. We don't know. Exactly. I mean... Like, remember the day when you were a child? Everybody has this. When you realize there's more to life than just the family. Like, you see somebody walking down the street and you go, Oh, my God. They have... I don't know them. And they have a whole life and people that they know. And they interact with. And your mind just blows for the first time. And you're like 8 or 10 years old and you realize Dude. that there's more to the world than just... Your circle, I mean, maybe that's just maybe. Maybe when you die, you find out. We don't know. 
We don't know. We don't. But guess That's what? The crazy thing. I'm gonna show up at Swan Dive and Swan on Dive. Mondays. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> we drove by. My, it yesterday, I'm gonna by put the way. my phone onto Pandora, connect it to my speaker. Yep. I'm gonna get lost in the golf course for the next two hours, and an hour afterwards, drinking cocktails with my buds. And life is gonna be great. Oh, are you gonna drink cocktails this year? You're gonna keep skipping out early. I oh. didn't always skip out. There was a lot of days I, mean, I there stayed. There were a lot of days I walked into the clubhouse and you're like, "Yeah, I'm gone. Bye." All right, see you later. It also depends on what I have going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But no, so well, me and Andrew signed up again. We're playing. So did we? But that's what I'm saying. Those like, I, I, I don't you know, know what I'll do. I also don't get. I have a commitment I'll make. I also don't get the hype of having. Like, we bought our, our son an Oculus for Christmas, right? Well, Oculus though, Oculus doesn't like, even it compare. Put your phone in the thing. No, you don't put your phone no, in. No, no, no. Oculus is its but, own headset. But, yes, I have one. Yes, an but, Oculus. But I have played it once since he's got it, and it was one game. The little Beat Saber. Yeah, but that's not even doesn't even. I understand. Come close. I understand that, but like I just I myself right don't get it. Don't get. It. I don't get the hype. It's okay. That's all. You're, and that's my own opinion. Yeah. Don't I, I don't. The hype. I don't it's think simple. I would ever wear a Vision Pro or whatever on a golf course to play golf. I just won't. I don't think I would. But one, my point is this: technology is heading towards glasses. If you, what? There's no difference than you getting a pair of glasses that does all that, or a rangefinder. Like Why Tony, wouldn't like you Tony want Stark. the glasses? Like you're you're Iron Man now. Why wouldn't you want the you glasses? Have and you don't have to carry a rangefinder. You. you don't have to carry. You don't have to magnetic nothing. Like it's on your face, and at all times you have all the data in, in your view, just on glasses. That's where we're heading. That's where this tech's going. You're gonna be able to put on a, some glasses. Eventually, they're just gonna put a chip right in your head. Yeah, that's that's coming too. That's when you know we don't already so, have a chip. In so us. I'm gonna tell you something. Is that what this bump is? We. we mean, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Next month, end of March, Apple has their spring event. And they may tease it there. If not March, definitely WWDC, which is in June. Right. But so in either, March, they're dropping the 17.4 or something. And it's supposed to be like crazy. But they have to do that the first week of March. No, no, no. For the compliance with Europe. No, no, no. I'm talking about they're releasing end of March. They're going to have an event. They're going to release their new iPads and their new products i don't think it'll make it there but then in june at wwdc which is their developer conference they have every year they're going to release next year's iteration of ios and vision os and all that stuff be prepared the the world is going to change with what you're going to see apple is going to unveil their ai they've been so quiet every other company is starting to throw their ai out there apple has been tight-lipped you know, in the 2023, they bought 32 AI companies and not a peep. Just wait. Wait till you see what Apple's got in store. I can't wait. It's going to blow our minds in the next version of iOS. So in the fall, our, you think Vision OS is cool? Wait till what's coming to all of Apple. That's my prediction. And it's going to be the start. That's going to be the point of no return for AI. When Apple does it, everybody's going to have it. And when they everybody has it, we've crossed the line officially to no return. So AI is going to be a part of everything. Did you see the video AI that came out over the weekend? No. Oh, my God. They, it's not no, available I, yet to the public, but you basically type in what you want, anything you want, and there's a video of it, and it looks real. Right, but that's the scary part about it. They're not, yeah. Because I could type in, I could type in a video, and I'm just, I'm just gonna throw this out here. Um, you know, I want a video of George shagging sheep on a mountaintop, and there'll be a video of that, hundred percent. And yes. then I send that out to everybody that hates George, and then they go viral with it. And everybody thinks now that George is a sheep shagger, and it's like, you know, it's not. But, but the deep fakes were enough during the last election cycle, and it's just I look at it as one more oh, way, one more way to divide the world even more than what it is. But that, that's instead the thing. of being the thing that brings us together, that's what I see the problem. AI is going to be changed for, or our lives are going to be changed forever after this fall, and I have no idea what it's going to look like. And Elon Musk always said that that is the one threat to humanity is AI. 
Right, which we is just why he's trying to, to get us over it. to Mars so we could have a place to land. Seriously. 100%. It's going to be crazy. I, I'm, I can't wait to see what happens. I can wait. Good. You will. I will. Until in the fall when you get that annoying download and then you're going to be forced. You could go back to an analog phone. Ones did, I, yeah, did, ones if I just go back to a, a simple should. flip phone. You should. You'll I be mean, one of the few. I mean, Motorola has them again. You could no, get, there's you a one. there's a thing called uh, simple phone. Jitterbug. Jitterbug. Dude, With the really the big buttons. No, no, no. <laughs> there's there is a company. So I was telling. Did I tell you about that? Yeah. The problem is, I I was gonna I would just give Venice a simple flip phone, Here, for, light for, phone for called. making calls and texts. That's all you need. That's all it does. There you go. But it doesn't give there her her is. mobile hotspot. Then that's where she runs her iPad it's, off. It's called a light phone. I can't see that. You can see it right here. It's called a light phone. Oh, welcome. and pop ups. It's literally just text, text and calls. Calls. That's all you could do. Dumb wireless. Perfect. That is uh, what uh, Monica's Monica's cousin has. That really. Mm-hmm. He's a police officer. You met him. Oh, yeah. Down yeah the, that's down the phone Kentucky. that he uses. Yeah. Crazy. That's what people are going to go to. If they don't want all the don't technology, want it. if they want to get off the Because it's going to get, like, crazy this fall. Well, it's already crazy enough that when I go to... Yeah, but it's still iOS. When I search something on my computer, and then I go to my social media, and then I pop up everywhere, and it's like, well, you sit on face, you sit on YouTube now as you're scrolling, and you stop to talk to somebody, and you stop scrolling for a second. That video starts playing... Now, all of a sudden, it shows up in your home screen that that was a video you were watching, whether you were or not. And then you start getting more videos in that genre or that type of video. And it's like, I didn't stop on that because of that. I stopped on it because I was talking to somebody. Like, don't, the algorithms are getting too ridiculous, in my opinion. It's only, I, I'm, I just can't wait to see what they did. I can wait. So, what else did you do over the weekend since we went off that track? You, are you um, done with your weekend story? Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm we done. talked about. I'm good. We talked about. Um, it's your week to get cut off. <laughs> no, we didn't. I didn't cut anybody off. You asked about Valentine's Day and then never got back to Josh. I'm good. We that, did. That's all I did. We had basketball. That was it. What did I do this weekend? I went to. Basketball? Hmm? How did Mason do at basketball? Very well. Did he? Very well. How many points? A lot. A lot. Interesting. Just a lot. You don't know exactly. No, no. Um, we did went, he do some Steph Curry moves out there? <laughs> did he have a three point contest? Did you see that? He, <laughs> Every time George starts to talk, I'm just gonna. Cut he him did. Off. He did hit a three pointer at the buzzer, though. All right, nice. so he won the game. Uh, it was at halftime. Oh. oh, but he still he won the half. There was three. There was three seconds left. He got passed in the at the corner, and he just yeah. That was pretty cool. Cool. And you, and you got him watching like old videos all time. Mm-hmm. All time. We went to, or I, my my daughter, my twelve year old had a sleep her sleepover this weekend. That was fun, and it's funny because they they claim they were up till so this was that Friday night when you Facetime me. So I stayed on the couch and tried to stay up as late to see how late they stayed up. I finally went to bed at one o'clock. It was silent. My wife said she woke up at three, no movement, and they go, "Oh yeah, we were up till four thirty. Uh huh." Liars. Yeah, our kids at Mason's little sleepover <laughs> party, they did the same thing. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and Kelsey turned off the lights to the basement. They're in the basement. Not a soul made a peep. Oh, no, no, I was up all night long. No, no you weren't. No. If we turned the lights <laughs> off on you at 3 in the morning in the basement, you would have freaked out if mm-hmm. you were awake. I concur. So we had that Friday, and then last night, or Saturday night, we went to Schaumburg and went to our favorite restaurant. <laughs> It is so good. Fat Rosie's. If you've never tried it, it's on, it's right off of, uh, was it Woodfield Road? I don't remember what road it is. Meacham. I don't know. It's one of those roads that's right by Woodfield. And it is our favorite little Mexican restaurant. It's not know. little. It's kind of. No, it's big. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. If you haven't tried it, you got to. Their margaritas are spectacular. Their food is spectacular. They have like this... I don't even know what it's called, but it's got chorizo, queso, and they give you a couple of, it's like an appetizer with a couple of tortillas. 
put all that inside. It's so good. Uh, we had a great time that we we went did top golf, and then we went back to the hotel and we took over the <laughs> we took over the to- the the um, the lobby. I brought that bottle of Eagle Rare. And we went to the bar and asked for glasses, and we sat down and started drinking our own. <laughs> and they were like, uh, okay, <laughs> you don't want to well, buy it? What nope. can they say? No, they can't. We're staying there. I mean, it's you're fun. staying at the hotel. It's not like I walked into the hotel lobby. Did that hotel glass. bar close at uh, 10 o'clock, too? 11. No. <laughs> oh, but here's something they did do that was really janky. So the pool closes apparently at 10 o'clock. Okay. We got back and we're like, let's, can we go swimming? And they're like, oh, close the tent. And they're like, oh, we'll be, we'll be good. We just really wanted to swim. And they're like, okay, fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Little did we know, we get there and there's puke all over the pool. Well, of course they're going to let us. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't go. No, nobody swam. We just sat in the pool room and left because they didn't clean it, number one. And then they were like, yeah, go ahead. You can swim, swim away. That's kind of shady. So there's pu- you said there's puke in the pool? Yeah. Gross. Yeah, the whole pool was empty, and there was puke floating in the pool. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's that, bad. I won't tell. I won't mention what hotel it was because that probably could get somebody in trouble. But it should not. Well, we should mention what. That's a health violation. That's a health. Hazard. That's how COVID starts. Crap like that. What hotel was it? It was you, a Hilton. Are you a globalist? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't a Hyatt. We went to Hilton this time because yeah, Hyatt has the bar to close at eleven. <laughs> Read, Dick. I'm just Saturday saying, night, close can we, Thursday can night, we, close 11. Can we just name this episode Ridiculous? Ridiculousness? <sighs> we get in trouble. There's a show called No, I said Ridiculous. Ridiculous? Not Ridiculous. This. Well, how would... So, so it's a show. It's a word, too. So I don't know. It's, just, it's true. Everything about everything right now is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Put that down. There's your title. There we ridiculous. go. Ridiculous. All right. John, last but not least, what did you do this weekend? Dick, you was. Oh, this was a this was a busy week. I do want to say, Venice and Emily. You know, Venice coaches. She's the director of gymnastics at Kid Spot, and um, she had a meet in Joliet, and she made this amazing post because I read it. Very good. I mean, she moved to Joliet after her parents got divorced to be with her mom, live with her mom. Mm-hmm. Um, she went to high school there. She. She had some horrible days and some great days. And it was like, just for her, it was like nostalgia. She has not really been in Joliet since. Nobody lives there. No family lives in that area. But um, her team, every one of her athletes has now qualified for state. So they have to get a certain score at each competition in order to qualify. And she had one girl left. And this kid rocked it. Had was sick on Saturday. Fever broke, was feeling good but still tired, came in Sunday, rocked it with her highest scores ever to qualify for state. So I just want to congratulate the Kid Spot Gymnastics team, KSG, my wife, my daughter Emily, who's also one of the coaches, her other coaches, Kai and Armani and Amber. I mean, they've done a great job mentoring these kids. And state is the second week of March for part of the team. There's different states. There's like levels and there's, um, uh, what do they call it, Excel. So there's two different programs that run out of there, but just gotcha. some amazing stuff. So I want to say congratulations to them. But she she had her Michael Jordan game. Yeah, basically. Remember when Jordan was sick? Yeah. Puking. Puking. Came out, Blue, rocked it. Came out, <laughs> scored like 50 points, whatever it was. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So the flu game, they call the it. The flu game. So while we were which I loved I loved listening to our episode on Friday, driving back. I mean, it was a great episode, I think. Um with yeah. our special guest, the judge last week. Um, apologies in advance for the audio, but not everybody knows to talk into a mic. So, but I did my fair housing class the last time I CE on um, personal biases and overcoming them. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Like the things because of who you associate with, who you're with all the time, you have a bias against other people without even realizing it. So it's, it's true. It's just like the funniest thing. It's like just certain biases just exist from your cultural standards, from where you are, who you hang out with. Facts. 100% yeah. facts. So it's just one of those things. So like just trying to understand that, acknowledge that it exists and move on from there. So that was a yeah. it was a very interesting course. I'm just saying like for a four hour class, 
You're like, oh, I got to be here four hours. I need my CE. The four hours flew by. So I'm just saying that. Saturday, though, I guess Friday, right after my doorbell rang, is when the dinner I made myself decided that it was probably not good. What was it? So earlier in the week, we made tacos. And we had some of the some of the steak left over in the fridge. So maybe that was there a day or two longer than it should have been. So I reheated that. I took some sh- frozen shrimp, thawed that out, uh, mixed it with some pico, made some grilled ones, made some different tacos, and I just demolished them. Had a couple of glasses. Not even I wasn't even drinking heavy. I had a couple of glasses of Johnny Drum. Yeah. And we were good. And we were good. And about one in the morning, that's when my stomach just decided to go nuts. I, both ways. I wish it was at 10 o'clock Ooh. when I uh, yeah. ding dong ditched them. How yeah. funny would that no. have been? Like, and I just ate, I just ate at like nine o'clock, but then I was like, was it, was it the, the fresh breakfast sausage I made? Was it a little undercooked that morning? Was it this dinner? Cause I didn't eat anything between breakfast and dinner. And all day Saturday, my son actually came into me on Saturday morning, a uh, Saturday around one in the afternoon. He goes, are you okay? Because it's not like you to be in bed all day. I'm like, yeah, I'm just resting. So Saturday was a wasted day. And then Sunday, I showed houses all day. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. It, it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to vent again. I'm not. I, I wanted to, but I'm not going to. It's just... Don't. You got it off your chest, and there's yeah. no reason to... Exactly. No reason to rehash I just, it. I just want people to realize that, I mean, we work hard for what we do, and that's all it is. It's just... It's just how it is. Like, if you don't understand the process, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to explain the process of buying or selling a house. And we'll get you the information you need and then get you your insurance you need and get you a loan you need and all that fun stuff. But that's about it. Um, But other than that, I mean, that's all I had going on. Yeah. Um, Just, it was a nice weekend. The weather is beautiful this week. I'm just a happy camper and... Looking forward to a nice week of busyness. I think my calendar's booked like all week with just events and meeting people. This week is, I did a lot of bookings, um, more trips. This week, this week I'm home. How can you book more trips? <clears throat> I have to. He has to. I had a book. I, I booked, I'm um, going to North Carolina now, next month. All right. This is the trip that we need to set up and maybe we do this for next spring as a group. So we all have time to get together. Bungalows in Key Largo, all inclusive resort. Everyone gets their own 900 square foot bungalow, little bungalow. What's the resort name? Bungalows. Key Key Largo. Largo. That's what it's called. (laughs) Bungalows Key Largo. That's what it's called. Isn't that the only all inclusive in the States? All inclusive in the U S it's some, it's not the only, but it's the top 10. There's not many. It's top 10 of all inclusives regardless, but I think it's only like one of five in the U.S. I don't even Dang. think there's five. You don't need... you. And I was looking at the garden rooms. I would save, I'd save two grand and get a garden view because I don't need to see the ocean. I'd rather be in the woods a little bit, like in the palm trees. But everything is all included. You could add on for, for better pours if you want to. You could buy bottles if you want to. Where's um, Key Largo? It's Florida. way down to the bottom of Florida. So it's the Keys? Yeah. So you'd have to either fly into Miami and then drive 85 miles, or it's like a six-hour flight with flying into Orlando, switching to a small plane, and getting there. But No, flying to Miami is probably the smarter move. Fly to Miami, get Just one rental it. car, and drive down. But I think we should plan a couple's trip down there for 2025. I think we should get that started and go. I can't do the spring. Why that? Why? Baseball. Oh, come on. We could do the summer. Like, you could just bake down there. Next I mean, summer. Can't do summer. It's baseball. I can't, 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 can't do the winter. fall. It's golf. Can't do the fall. It's, it's football. football. Can't, do the, can't, can't, do can't do the winter. It's basketball. <laughs> and and I, I just can't go. But then, I, I just but then I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. No, I can't go. Last no, minute. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's bull crap because I was 100% in for Vegas. Don't uh-huh. give me that. We know that. I was. I, I, he, oh. he's, just, he's just so thankful that I'm the reason that he didn't have to go. No, Kelsey yeah. was our, our, Kelsey mm-hmm. was already in. Well, this is a Kelsey, this is a Kelsey, I know. Josh, a John saying, Vinicius, we already, a George we, Monica Ve- trip. Vegas was 100% booked and ready to rock and roll. It's not my fault it got canceled, I but mean, she this, was. This could be a very good 
trip. So George, we're gonna have to work on some. I'm looking right and now I told to you, see if I can get it. Well, let's and I it. told you guys from the get go I couldn't go to mm-hmm. Kentucky. I know that. that I know and that wasn't Kentucky was Kentucky was a great weekend. I wish you could have made it. I mean, once in a while you got to do things like that. Just in general in life, you got to just go have fun. So I love you. You're a great guy. <laughs> And you're a good dad. So I understand why you don't do what you do. And I get that. I mean, I was the same. I'm in a totally different place. When you I was all, your, you both are totally when different. I was in, when I was your age, when I was your age, I had three young kids that were running around in travel sports. I lost my job and I was trying to start my own business. So there was no money. There was nothing in the house. And so it was, it was very inexpensive meals at home. And a lot of traveling. And sometimes it was sending my kid with another family on the long travel excursions, not even getting to go. Like, Kyle, here you go. We'll do that. Coach, you'll take them? Thank you. And the coach, he'd stay with the coach's kids in their room, you know? So I know I you know what it. you're going through. You I get, get it. it. I do get, get it 100%. And I, got- I, I wouldn't trade those days other than the fact that I really wish I made more then so I could have enjoyed that time more because I was always stressed all the time back in oh, that yeah. time. And now, and what I shared with you guys last week, you kind of know where oh, yeah. my totally. You know, I'm not gonna get. I can't, in, I'm not gonna get into it, but like you guys know, I can't you, wait until the day we can get into it. Yeah, you know, what I mean, because that that's gonna be a call for celebration. But we'll oh, keep, we'll keep throwing, you guys. We'll keep you guys posted. We're throwing a party, like a major party. So I had, and I wanted. I want to know. Like first off, we have a chat going on right now in. Um, Facebook. Facebook. Yep. We we're, we're, one. we're asking you guys about at Rep in the State Line. We're asking you, where's your favorite places in the State Line? I mean, we've had a few people go. And I want to give a shout out. I'm hoping they're going to listen to us because um, they asked us to be a part of this. Best of the State Line. Uh, Skyler is his name. Um, Skyler. I, Keanu. I can't pronounce his last name. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to butcher it. But he's got like this comedy... Um, podcast that they do called Sensory Underload. And I'm going to give them a shout out. They're based out of the DeKalb area. We're based up here in the Rockford area. So I told them, let's connect. Yeah, we should do we would a love, joint. We would love to be on their podcast and do something crazy. We would love to have them up here and interview them. So talk about that. But we're asking, what's the best thing about living in the state line area? And we want to know. So we need some interaction from you guys, whether it's culture activities, food, stuff like that. Um, I have a post going around right now. I'm asking about um, oysters. I love oysters. And I saw a picture of just different recipes of how people do the raw oysters. And I was like, where can you get some around here? Because I used to get my oysters fresh from Stone Eagle, but they're gone. Yeah. I get oysters Rockefeller. I get oysters Rockefeller from Green Fire. No, which is the, Olympic, fire. the Olympic is doing oysters. And that's what somebody said. Brandon Johnson said to me... Um, the Olympic on Thursdays yep. does oysters like two bucks a piece. Yep. Raw oysters, they shuck them right there yep. and go. And I'm like, we might have to go do this. I mean, that's that's a very low calorie meal too. That's like that fits right in your diet schedule. Oh yeah, the oy- oysters are actually negative calories. Yeah, wait until at two twelve. Yeah, no, two twelve. Good for you, dude. Twelve pounds left. Interesting. Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds to go eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> Right? It'll, it'll come right back. It'll, no. <laughs> well, it, it, Hope not. it depends on what you do. It depends yeah. on how you work it. So what do we got this weekend? Anything fun? Um, I did a little bit of looking. One thing that's going on, which everybody loves, is the Rockford Home Show at the Indoor Sports Complex is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it starts like Friday night at 5, 5 or 6, something like that. So, I mean, plenty of time to get out of work. Get over there and just see, because a lot of people are doing home improvements. I mean, uh, for me as a realtor, it does not make sense. Uh, the first year after COVID, I did a booth, and it was myself on one end of the building. There was mm-hmm. another real estate team on the other end of the building. And we met some people, but nobody really wants to talk about buying or selling a home. They're there to figure out how to get the improvements done to their home that they want. Mm-hmm. They're not really thinking about that. The following year, Every real estate company in town, except for me, was in the was there. So, 
it's not it's not really a thing for for a realtor to be at. I would I love to support them though. And when I was a you contractor, should just go you should just go and walk around. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably pop in for a little bit somewhere sometime. Uh, go visit all my old contractor friends because I used to do the Rockford Home Show every year when I had Roscoe Interiors. That was like one of my big draws. I was able to meet a lot of people. Um, I always had the the last aisle facing the wall right underneath the Holiday Inn breakfast sign. That's where I was. Nice. Because it was like what you could afford at the time, you know, small company. And that was like the cheap seats. But it was a good time. Also, I didn't know this, but the Talcott Library, the Talcott Free, Free Library. Free Library up in Rockton. In Rockton. Yeah. They do teen movie matinees. And Friday from 3.30 to 5.30, they have a teen movie matinee called The Hate You Give. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm sure it's an educational film for kids. Yeah. Um, probably teenagers or preteens. But they do a lot of public things like that where there's movies for kids. There's spots for them to go. There's crafts. There's things they could learn with. So, I mean, great place. It's a great um, resource in the north end of our listening area. And that's about all I found other than... Yeah, it's a you know, very, very uneventful weekend. Everything's uneventful in between... The Super, Super Bowl and the start of baseball. Yeah. And it's pretty much this like, weekend is I mean, a, one of those weekends where you just hang out, chill. Well, everybody's got like, you know, everybody's got like bands playing the usual, the usual go, stuff. You know what? On. I challenge, I challenge our listeners, followers, go find a new place that you haven't eaten and go out for a nice dinner this weekend. No place is going to be jam packed. No holiday this weekend. Just go, go try something new. I did it um, for, I mean, Stop I've been tapping. There. Oh my goodness. My ears. <laughs> I've done it. I did it. I did it with my parents and my kids last weekend. That's another place we did go out for dinner. Um, and it was new to them. I've been there before, but they're like, wow, this, this is really good food. And it's literally here. And where was it? The, it's not the Hoffman house, but it's the bar. What's the name of the sports page? I think so. No, no. no. Sports page is no. long gone. No, it's what was what was it called? Not it's a bar. The not scoreboard. Sp- that's sports scoreboard. Score? Scoreboard. Scoreboard. I think which is, is where which is the bar at the Hoffman House. Correct. Hey, on a side note, I think this weekend was a year ago last year that we went on my birthday bus trip. Hey, side note to that. No, that was actually the first weekend in March. Yes, it was. Was it the first week in March? It was the first weekend in March. Oh. And I told you I couldn't be there, and then I showed up. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So not quite. So you save that story for next time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, no. Um, finishing my charge? story with scoreboard. So I will tell you, it's the exact... Like, I know they're owned by the same people, but you know Firehouse? Yeah. To it's the, the Prosser, it's the Pro, it's the Prosser family. Bob it's, Prosser, he I, was, I know he won a lifetime vote. achievement award this year from one of the Chamber of Commerces. He, um, his son, um, runs a lot of the, runs a lot of the business now. I mean, but they basically took the exact same menu and changed it up. Yeah, it's literally the it's exact the same, same menu, menu as the Firehouse. So I've been to the Firehouse how many times? So I All walked in and I knew exactly what they had there. So, you know what's really, re- was, I was very impressed with, and it was like low key. I never even thought to get it. Their smash burger. Yeah, the smash. I you had it. I know. When Colby I, was I here, we had the smash. I burger. know, but I can't. I I keep going back to it, and I don't know why. Like I used to always get the wraps there. They're um they have that firehouse burger where it's got the jalapenos and the, the wild west burger. The wild west burger. I usually get that. I'm getting hungry. But <laughs> for some reason, I tried the smash burger again, and it's so good. The smash burger. I mean, it is a high quality burger. Yeah. For and it's minimal cost. You add fries to it. It's cheaper than McDonald's. It's better for you than McDonald's because it's actually fresh. Yeah. 100%. You know, the fries are fresh. Everything's fresh. You're not getting any of, um, what's his name's chemically treated potatoes. Detours. <laughs> detour. <laughs> detour. Take a detour there. No, yeah. seriously. No, we, very... we still apologize. Like, if you guys want to redeem yourselves, let us know. We'll come in. <laughs> we'll try it again. I mean, I just... I can't. I just can't. I'm excited, though, for golf league coming. It's yeah. Spring is in the air. I'm just like, look, I'm in short sleeves. I'm, like, ready to go. Like, let's do this. Is the weather going to be finally over? We had a cold weekend. Uh, it's going to be a little chilly again coming up. 
Ugh, so it's supposed to be in the on. 50s. Today? Yeah. High okay. 50s and so, like almost 60 next week. Um, we're looking back for the weekend. We're in the 40s Friday and Saturday, 54 on Sunday, then the 60 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully the worst we're of done. it is out is past. Yeah, baseball starts Monday. It's ridiculous. That is crazy. Tell your kid to pick a sport. No, no, no. Boil- <laughs> I coach at Boylan. Oh. Boylan baseball starts Monday. That's why you can't travel in the spring? Yeah. Because you're coaching. I'm oh. coaching. All right, all so right, Coach. We're gonna go, we're gonna travel. You know what? You guys what can do you, travel. What are you doing? What Francis are you just drive? What are you guys doing for a baseball game between Christmas and New Year's this year? Let's go somewhere for New Year's. Let's go to bungalows. It's my kid's birthday. What? It, how old? He'll be ten. Perfect. It's not an important birthday. We'll be good. <laughs> we'll be good. <laughs> ten. <laughs> Ten, like I mean, like that's every time. That's like, yeah, that's like no big deal. That's like any date, date. It's not like it's not like a sixteen-year-old girl or twenty-first birthday. It's ten. Yeah, it's just ten. Stop becoming no a teenager. Deal. It's not thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Stop pulling on the cord. That's a sub. That's a sore subject. Because we're neither of us are going to be home for my kid's thirteenth birthday. How? I'm going to be in that North Carolina, and my wife's going to be in Vegas. <laughs> That seemed like a that seemed like a lack of planning on both your parts. On that note, <laughs> on that note, on that note, do all the YouTube things. things. <laughs> like, share, share subscribe. subscribe. Make sure you um, send us a message telling George what a bad parent he is. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Hey, I'm I'm gonna be home the day after, and I'm going to do something for of course birthday the day after. My wife though is gonna be gone to Vegas till Tuesday, so don't. Uh, if any, yeah, we'll, no, 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 we're, we're just messing <laughs> with you. But, but seriously though, guys, follow us on Facebook. It's at Rep in the State Line Podcast. Follow, find us on YouTube at Rep in the State Line, um, and anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can listen to the show. You can watch it on YouTube. Follow on Facebook. That's the easiest way to do it. Like, share, subscribe, and we will talk to you all next week. It's been a short but fun week. We appreciate everybody. Thanks. See you next Tuesday. Really. <laughs> Really? <laughs>